Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here. So I'm lying there in the bed and I see a news footage on the, the screen. And Mitch McConnell is talking about the situation down in Uvalde. And uh, the, the national crisis has, uh, is explained and made explicit in this situation. And he says, um, we are got some Democrats and some Republicans and they are negotiating, considering some things as they address um, the school safety and mental health. And it looked like he just made the hair stand up on everybody's neck that heard that. And immediately something hit me that said, oh, someone needs to explain what mental health is uh, being uh, exemplified here <clears throat> and I got the impression that we're looking at the wrong source the one that you've called mentally retarded uh, people who go and get a gun and and go out and cause these destructive acts you know taking people's lives and to do that I would have to concur that is a mental illness but it doesn't just stop there that mental illness is more than we have been uh, given to understand, ladies and gentlemen. What people are doing is that they're misdirecting us, giving us where they want us to go, and not to see what is actually happening before our eyes. When we see this young man go down there and kill 19 kids and two teachers, I don't know if there were other than I'm sure it might have been, should have been, and that's our focus. We don't go any further than that. We start talking about how do we deal with this? How are we going to address the situation? And the first thing you start talking about those things that's rational, that makes sense. Do something to keep these guns out of the hands of the people. That's rational. Somebody might say have no gun. That might be most rational. But that's not going to happen. This what they're asking the people to do now is not happening. So what the evaluation is, ladies and gentlemen, is this, is that there's a lot <clears throat> of mental health going around. In fact, the mental health was expressed when we saw the president of the United States named Donald J. Trump came into the office of the presidency. And especially if you had a problem with that, to say that he won the 20th election. And it was stolen from him. That was mental illness. That was mental illness when he stood up on that ellipse talking about let's take over America. Because if we don't, we're going to lose it. But he was actually saying if we don't, they're going to put me in jail. That was mental illness that said that. But you know what else was mental illness? When the people said yes. And they marched down to the Capitol. Some were already there. And they took action. That was mental illness. Nothing but mental illness. You see, ladies and gentlemen, what we fail to acknowledge is that anyone that is a hater, that's mental illness. A racist, that's mental illness. A bigot, that's mental illness. To cause pain and suffering for others so that you can gain, that's mental illness. So what we have is a nation that's mentally ill. Because those who say they disagree with that, allow that to exist. Down in Texas, they won't change the rules, the regulations. Don't care how much death happens. God forbid Alex Jones would be back out there talking about this was all planned. And do nothing. That's mental illness. It seems as if Texas got a mental illness governor. <clears throat> Let's go back to D.C. I want to call out some other people that gave you an expression of being mentally retarded. The senators. Those senators that supported all of the mental illness of Donald Trump. Those people in the House of Representatives who supported the mental illness. 
those who voted for this mental illness. They did it because they are fall right in that category of being mentally retarded. If they were not mentally retarded, my friends, they would want peace and prosperity. If they were not mentally retarded, they would want joy in their lives. They would want freedom. They want their dreams to come true if they weren't mentally retarded. They want their needs, their wants, and their desires met whenever they required it. If they weren't mentally retarded. If they weren't mentally retarded, they want everybody to be housed, have access to housing, to food and clothing and education. If they weren't mentally retarded. They want people to have health care. If they weren't mentally retarded, they want everybody to engage in the process on this playground and we'd have us a ball. If they weren't mentally retarded. But see, they're mentally retarded. They're at odds with each other on everything. I don't care who you are. Mamas and daddies are at odds with one another. Sisters and brothers are at odds with one another. Cousins and nephews are at odds with one another. Whites and black, everybody, doggone it, is mentally retarded. Yes, we are. Totally mentally retarded. Now, I ask you, who amongst you is not? Who amongst you is standing out there representing what I just got through explaining as being righteous? I don't care what bad you got on. Who amongst you? Is there a preacher amongst you that's advocating that? It doesn't matter your color. It doesn't even matter where you live. No. Why? Because we are all mentally retarded. Now, if I say we all mentally retarded, that covers everybody. That covers you and me and us. But the question is, what are we going to do about it? What Are we going to do anything about it? We've been called out. What would that mean? That means just what I just got through saying. Now, are you ready to do that? Well, some people you can help and some you can't. But there's a difference between those that are helped and those that are not. And it is known by evidence. So, ladies and gentlemen, yes, we should get our focus right. Our focus is and should be mental health, but not just at the shooter, but the ones that makes it possible for the shooters to keep on shooting. Till next time, this is Eddie Marcus. I hope I said something worthy. Goodbye.